we have a system out of balance, so there's less supply, less water coming in, and the water use uh, by agriculture, cities, and other consumptive uses has increased. The bottom line is that um, we've been using more than the supply for the last um, decade and a half at least. The history of how the Colorado River is governed goes back to 1922 when the seven basin states came together and divvied up the river. And they basically said the upper basin states gets seven and a half million acre feet, the lower basin states also get seven and a half million acre feet. And so throughout much of the 20th century, what's been now called the law of the river has been developed, which builds upon that 1922 compact to allocate water to the states in the U.S. and the states in Mexico. And so that's what we're, what, what we're dealing with today is um, further interpretation, further development of the law of the river to figure out how do we do those state allocations responding to drought, responding to climate change, responding to, to low reservoir levels. The Bureau of Reclamation's announcement of um, saying that we need an additional two to four million acre feet of conservation by 2023, so in the next year, and again on top of what we've already done in the efforts already to date, um, an additional two to four million acre feet was staggering. I, I did not expect them to make that announcement. Um, and it really caught me off guard at the scale. If you're gonna talk about that much water, clearly everyone has to come to the table. Everyone is gonna to have to contribute in some way as an entire basin. So the challenges are immense, but also the opportunity I think is generational and historic. If the Bureau of Reclamation is saying we need two to four million acre feet of additional conservation, that's an opportunity to really rethink how we prioritize our use of this river. And it's a way for us to think about what are our values today in 2022, and how do we want those values reflected in how we manage the Colorado River. The Colorado River was originally divided up in 1922. I think 100 years later in 2022, it's time that we update the river for how it reflects, and the river management for how it reflects our values today.